six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, hey, all you salty dogs. Hello from the 2023 Port Townsend Wooden Boat Festival in Port Townsend, Washington. I am standing here with the boats at Point Hudson Marina. Yes, I know it has been a while. This is going to be my first video and well over a year now. So uh, for those of you that have been following the channel for a while, I've been dealing with some stuff on the personal side of things. We're not going to get into that in this video. Instead, we're going to get right into the Wooden Boat Show. We're going to have an absolute great time up here. Today is day three of the festival. The first two days of the festival, all I did was attend a bunch of classes. I didn't do any filming, made a bunch of contacts, met people, met up with friends and everything else, and had an absolutely fantastic time here. And what I want to talk about today is if you are thinking about coming up to the Wooden Boat Festival next year, which would be 2024, what you might expect, what you might want to do. And so let's get into that. The Wooden Boat Show is held at the Northwest Maritime Center and in the basin of Point Hudson Marina and on the surrounding grounds. Here you can see all the boats lined up inside the basin. They can pack so many of them in here. It's incredible. This is the map of the event provided on their website, which you can find at woodenboat.org. There'll be a link in the description to that, but it'll give you a general feel of how the festival grounds are laid out, where the classrooms are, where you can find the boats. They really take over that whole marina area there. One of the great things about visiting the Wooden Boat Show is if you have your own boat, you can come up and anchor right off of Port Townsend here and as you can see, the anchorage is absolutely packed full of beautiful boats. The other great thing about doing that is, is it costs nothing to come up and anchor, and you can bring your dinghy into the beach right in front of the show for absolutely free, no cost for parking, no cost for staying anywhere. And so it's a really wonderful feature of this show, just the ability and the accessibility to get to the show. So down here behind me is probably the most important part of the show, which is the boats themselves, and they are absolutely incredible. No matter if you're a fiberglass boat guy or a steel boat guy, there's still something to see here because the wooden boats, whether or not you're a wooden boat guy, they are absolutely incredible to look at. Uh, these boats themselves, I mean, really, if you think about it, they are floating works of art. These are masterpieces. It is amazing the design and the skills that go into producing these things, the way they're able to take lumber and bend it into these curved, complex shapes. It, it it is just mind-blowing to really look at some of this stuff and when you're a workman when you've worked on things a little bit you gain an absolute new appreciation for the work that some of these people put in here and some of them are absolutely crazy by the way but it's amazing at the amount of time that they'll bury into these things and what's really interesting about this is a lot of these boats they are not a static art installation they are something that is very useful they are still being used there's boats in this fleet that are actively fishing there's boats in this fleet that are actively taking passengers out and there's some of them that are actively cruising i mean many of these boats will go up to alaska or out to hawaii or down the coast of mexico and back and so they're something that is very beautiful but also very useful and i think that's really what makes them unique So one of the best things about the show here is the fact that there are so many educational opportunities. If you're someone who is new to boating, this is a great place to come and learn. It's a great place to get your foot in the door. And it's just a great place to meet other sailors who have the experience to get the experience that you need to go out and enjoy boating. Uh, right now I'm up at the uh, classrooms that are up above the uh, Maritime Center here. Uh, this got this classroom behind me. There's two more over here. And then they also have several open air pavilions around the event here where you can go in and get some pretty amazing education, especially if you're new to boating. Now, at each of these stages, they will have several different types of experts there, anything from electrical, you know, marine maintenance and repair, uh, all the way down to like how to drive your boat, how to navigate your boat. Pretty much everything is there, sailmakers, riggers, you name it, it's here at the show. And then it was time for the food. We started off with mini donuts, and the smell of these things just wafted through that end of the marina. Oh, they'll tease you all day long. But man, were they so good. So good. 
And they've got this entire food court set up, and it was a great spot. Anything you wanted in there, be a classic American food, burgers, hot dogs, or even a deep fried taste in the Midwest. If you wanted to go international, there was Greek, there was Thai, and the Thai food was pretty good. They even had a bar set up. and a full-on wood-fired pizza oven. Personally, I had to go for the tacos. If you know me, I love a good taco. And yes, the tacos were absolutely amazing. These little Thunderbirds, they're a plywood boat that has quite a racing presence up here. There are quite a few small boats at the show as well as rather large ones. One in particular that I found that I really liked was this 12-foot Point Defiance by Gig Harbor Boatworks. They seem to be a pretty well-built boat and they are a fiberglass boat with a wood gunnel, so nice setup as far as I'm concerned. And then, of course, there's all the boat jewelry from the folks up at Port Townsend Foundry. And the good doggos. In the shopping area, there were all kinds of vendors with about anything that you could want. All these little shops set up along the way there. And even uh, CLC had brought this camper out. Now, I really like this thing. Uh, maybe we'll have to see about putting one of these together to pull behind the Jeep. And then, of course, you got the PT-11 nesting dinghy. And I believe it's uh, Chesapeake Lightcraft are the folks that are building these now. And, of course, uh, West Systems was there. So after three days of boat show, it was finally time to wrap up. A flurry of activity took over the marina. And pretty soon, boats started heading out onto the water one by one for the floating boat parade.
you kids get off my lawn! 